Hey guys, welcome back to my next Unity tutorial video. Uh, today, we're going to go ahead and make a simple runner game. Uh, a runner is a type of game where you don't control the uh, forward momentum of your character, and the only thing you do control is the ability to dodge obstacles. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is create a cube, and we're going to center this at 0, 0, 0. I'm going to name this cube a platform. And this is going to be the basis for our uh, runner to run on. Um, after we name platform, go ahead and go to assets, create a folder, call it resources. And in the resources folder, create another folder called prefabs. And then take the platform and drag it into the prefab folder and you'll see it turn blue and there will be a blue box platform in the prefab folder. A prefab is a pre-made game object that has the same states on the in the inspector and you can use these in your program to instantiate uh, this type of object. Uh, all right, you'll see how that works in a couple of seconds. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and create an empty object and position this at zero, 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 and we're going to call this a platform manager. And back in assets, we're going to create a folder called scripts, and we're going to make a new script, and we're going to call it a platform manager. Take the platform manager and drag it to the game object. Um, then double click it and open up Mono Develop. And this ma uh, the manager is going to take in a number of platforms. And we're going to set that to 10 by default. And we're also going to use a list to manage our collection of platforms. So we also want a list, public list of game objects called platforms. And then we're going to need a couple other things. Um, we'll get to them as we go. The first one we're going to need is a a min uh, scale and a max and a max scale, and we're going to use these to scale out our platforms. So if you click save and you go to the inspector. Expand the uh, min scale and max scale. Set min scale to 3 and max scale to 5. And you can leave the other fields blank for now. So in the start method, we're going to make, we're going to instantiate or pull in the prefab um, for the platform. So we're going to say platform prefab equals resources dot load. And the resources is the same name as the folder. And the prefab is located in prefabs slash platform. And this is as a game object. It's another way of casting the object we're pulling in as a game object. And then we're going to make a loop and we're going to go from i to 10 or the number of platforms. And all we want to do right now is just say game object g equals new or we want to say instantiate and we want to use the platform prefab and we're just going to say vector 3.0 and a quaternion and a quaternion is a rotation and the quaternion identity is uh, a zeroed out rotation and this is also as a game object. And if we save and hit play, 
you will see just a cube, 10 cubes. All right, so now we also we want to use our scale on them, and we want to say um, vector 3 temp scale equals new vector 3, and we want to say random dot range min scale dot x to max scale dot x, and then one one. And then we just want to apply this to the cube uh, scale, like that. And now if we uh, hit play, the cubes will all be different sizes. Alright, and they're all on top of each other, so what we're going to want to do is position them outwards. And in order to do that, we also have to start adding these to our list so that we have access to them and the way we're going to do this is we're going to say if platforms dot count is greater than zero so if there is something in our platform our list then we want a vector 3 called temp position it's going to just equal a new vector 3 and temp position is going to, going to equal platform, the last element of the platform, which is platforms.platforms.count minus one to get the last element, transform.position. And then we also want to offset it by half of this element's scale. So just copy that line and then replace scale, or position with scale. And then since the objects are centered around the halfway mark, we want to times this by 0.5. And then, and this is on the X only, the X component. Because the only thing we're actually scaling out is the X component. And we also want to do it one more time with the game, the new game object we've made and its scale. And then we're going to apply this to our game object. Alright, and then we're going to save this and we're going to hit play. And if you look, we have a lot of game objects that are equally spaced out. Um, to make this a little cleaner in our hierarchy, we're going to say g.transform.parent equals gameobject.transform, which will set the parent object for uh, platforms to the platform manager, which then makes it so that they're all a child of it. Um, now it'd be a very boring game if it was just a straight line so we're going to want a couple more variables so we need another vector 3 called um, min gap which will be the gap between two platforms and a max gap which will be the maximum amount between two platforms. And then we also want a height and a min height or a max height. Okay, so the max height we can say that the temp position dot y equals a random dot range min dot y and
And all we have to do then is just say that this can be anywhere from one to three. And now it's kind of well, let's say to negative one to one. Let's see how that looks. All right, and now we also need to add the gap between them. And the gap is going to be the temp position dot x equals random range gap comma max gap. And we actually we're just going to use a float for these. Because we're only going to do it in the x direction anyway. And the min gap is going to be 1, the max gap will be 2. And this should be plus equals. Alright, so now our, our platforms are getting spaced out, and there will be a gap where you could fall between them. So, let's go ahead and make our runner. So, we'll go ahead and make a new game object for a cube. Center it at 0, 0, 0. Let's call this a runner. Uh, he is going to need a rigid body because we're going to use physics. And. Let's move this guy up a little bit. So put him at one. And if we hit play now, we'll kind of just fall off. So move him over a little bit more. So let's say three and one. Hit play. And he will just fall. This game is very dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a directional light. There we go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, click on any of the links on the screen to view our other videos, and be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.